Today we're going to build our own image. You can do this on a 16 gigabyte card, 32, 64, um, depending on how many games you want to put on. And we're going to be basing this off the new Motion Blue version 2.0. came out earlier this year. You can go ahead and download that. First of all, thank David Marty for making it. Second of all, you can download that. I'll put a mega link. Third of all, after you download it, you're still going to need ROMs. This is just the, the operating system you still need to download the games. But luckily, this website right here, RetromaniacUS.com, you do need a Facebook account and establish Facebook account to, to join. If that doesn't work for you, there's other websites out there, but it's up to you to go find them. This just happens to be one that's easy to get into and easy to get access to. And they already have, this is just for the first Motion Blue, but these packs are are exactly what you want. So uh, if you want arcade games, arcade, Atari, Game Gear, whatever it is. <clears throat> and in this video we're just going to be adding the PlayStation games. They don't have all of them, but it's a nice little start and you can always add games later. So what I have so far is I have the Mega Link and I have my PlayStation Link. So we're all done with the internet now and what we want to do is you want to insert your SD card. Okay, after you insert your SD card, you want to format your SD card with a program like SD Formatter. Just go ahead and do a quick format. You're done. Then you're going to get Win32 Disk Imager. And you're going to go ahead and, and click on the right SD card. And you're going to extract the Motion Blue zip. And you should get a file like this. This is a .img. It's approximately 5.11 gigabytes. And you're going to go ahead, and that's the image file you're going to want to put in there. So get your image file and go ahead and put it in there. Now go ahead and hit write. It's a very fast write because it's only five gigabytes. Once you're done writing the image, go ahead and remove your micro SD card from your computer, swap, put it into your Pi, boot up your Pi. It's going to take a little bit of time on that first boot. Once you boot up, go over to RetroPi menu, go to RetroPi setup, go to configuration, and you want to go ahead and go towards the bottom and go connect to Wi-Fi. Go ahead and get connected to Wi-Fi or just plug your Pi into a network cable. Now you have, you should have Motion Blue showing up on your screen and your Pi is all booted up, but you also need your computer now. So now, as you can see, I have my Pi here. This is my Pi running the Motion Blue. And as you can see, when you log in, you should have these folders here. So the first thing you want to do is ROMs. And this is PlayStation, so depending on the system you want, you need to put it in the appropriate folder. So you can do this with any system, but for this, we're going to do PlayStation. You can see I've already done this, but basically what I did was I downloaded the PlayStation pack. I unzipped the PlayStation pack to where I have the games here. You want to control C, control C, and then control paste them all in the main directory, all the ROMs. Now that's just the ROMs. You still want all the images to work. So you need to go over here to the wheel and you need to copy over all the wheel artwork from here into the wheel artwork into here. Then you also have to do that for your box art. If you want the boxes to show up, you want the box art done and those go in box art. And then lastly, you have the snap wheel and those are those little, for example, this and you can see the little smaller video. The last thing we want to do to our Pi is this a little configuration. We want to add a splash screen, a boot up screen to make our Retro Blue even cooler, add a little customization. You can see my YouTube channel. I post a bunch of these all over there. Um, you could just uh, download them straight off my channel. Just go ahead and run a CCC converter and turn them into an MP4 file. And as you can see, I've already transferred it. I have a splash screen and I just dropped it and dragged it into here. And this is my splash screen. We're going to set that up when we go into our Pi. All right, now we have our plate we had we transferred over all of our PlayStation box art snaps wheel art and the games we we transferred over our splash screen and we have the motion blue running so now we're in the pie and there's just one thing we need to do is we need to go into that retro pie menu and then go to splash screen if, if this is only if you want to do the splash screen go ahead and choose splash screen and then we found see we have our marvel type splash screen and then we just set it. Make sure before you finish though, you say update splash screens number eight. It's gonna go ahead and update this really quick. And that's a now set as our splash screen. So we're gonna go put over to the right and press cancel. We're just gonna get out of here. So now we are fully, uh, we have the, the splash screen set up. And as you can see, we now have our PlayStation icon here in emulation station. And as you see, we have Castlevania. We have, this video is messed up, but Crash Bandicoot, Crash Team Racing, Destruction Derbo, Derby, Dino Crisis, Gran Turismo, Grand Theft Auto. We have sound, we have movies, we got everything. Everything's looking great. These all work as well. Ready to go. Right? Great. So one last thing to check out is we're going to check out Attract Mode. 
So, and that's not only going to reboot the system, but it, we're also going to be able to see that screensaver, I think, when we switch. So we're going to go ahead and switch to a track mode with this Motion Blue 2.0 image. This is track mode image does have its own little um, <laughs> setup as well. That's why you had two splash screens there. So we're going to go over to PlayStation because that's where we added all those games. All right, so here we are in PlayStation. And looky, looky, all those snaps, all those wheels that we added in, are here in a track mode as well. So that's what's so great about this little motion blue image is there's packs around there. You can make your own little image. You can add and delete games. You know, the games you don't want, just don't drag the artwork, don't drag the games. So it gives you more space on your SD cards to, you know, figure out what exactly you want instead of wasting space on games you probably won't ever play. And, uh, you know, it just makes for, it's fun, too, to build something that you can call yours and uh, have everything that you want on it. Today is 2.12 Sunday. As of uh, yesterday or so, Marty released the new Motion Blue version 3 with even more tweaks and cool things going on. Everything in this video would still be the same, but if you'd like to download the latest version, I'm going to go ahead and link that as well, and you can see his video on that. It's just some extra new tweaks and things like that. But because all of his images are, are similarly configured, everything in this video still is similar. You have just have your choice between Motion Blue 1, 2, and now 3. I hope you liked this video. If you could, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions, comment below. And I'll see you guys next time.